Good morning, Church of the Redeemer. My name is Carolyn Cacho Bowman, and uh, our pastor, for anybody who is new, I can't tell, is new here, is Pastor Haldor Gundmanson. He is uh, away this weekend, uh, celebrating his birthday and listening to Tomas uh, playing at Lincoln Center. Um, Pastor Haldor has uh, mastered the technique of volunteering, and that's why <laughs> I'm standing here. He asked that the lay servants, the laity, uh, do this service, um, and he specifically asked that it be done in the style of the Taze community. So here we are <laughs> doing something we've never done before, and I do want to give a shout out to being lay speaker, um, really it, it, it's not a necessity I don't think in this church because people sort of pitch in um, and, it, and, and that's brought to bear in this service. I'm a lay servant, as a matter of fact, Don and I, I'm very tired. Don and I spent the, the weekend in, in lay speaker training, um, but Carrie is also a lay speaker. Melanie Tyler is a lay speaker, um, but we also have had help with this service, of course, with Cynthia, who is doing the uh, tech technology, um, Vicki Ratliff, who's gonna assist with joys and concerns, and, and I've probably forgotten somebody else. Um, so people in, in our church tend to feel like they can participate and do participate. But the thing that I like about the lay speakers is that you can go to classes and meet people who are also interested in Bible study and in being in service within uh, a worship community. We are also aided this morning by Chanel, who is our, uh, our, our, our music director. Um, we're gonna start with announcements. Anybody have an announcement? I turned it back on. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Chanel Cook. Um, we will, the announcements say that there will be a virtual hymn sing this Thursday. Instead, there will actually be a bell choir rehearsal. So if you can make it to bells, we'd love to have you. Thank you. No worries, can I continue? Yes. Okay, so um, I do have a couple announcements. Um, we will not be having communion today uh, here in the sanctuary as the pastor is away and will be serving communion next Sunday. Also, there's an announcement in the bulletin regarding the movie 1946, which our church is sponsoring. I'm sure that uh, Haldor, when he comes back next week, will have much more to say about this because he knows about it, but basically it is a movie that helps us to understand, if there's such a thing, the vitriol uh, towards persons on, who are in the LGBTQIA community, the vitriol that the, some churches and some church members have toward people who are in that community. It, it's sort of almost uh, strange credulity, the amount of hatred that's there. And so apparently this movie delves into how that, it hasn't always been there. And so this movie delves into how it all, all came about. Um, Okay, it turns out I didn't really forget anybody. <laughs> so um, with that said, this is a um, prayer service. Um, hopefully you'll find it helpful. Um, I think we have um, aspirations at the beginning of the year to connect 
to God better and more and all of those good things. And here we are at the beginning of March, we've probably lost that. So now's a good time to stop, I think, and contemplate a bit and work on that inward journey that connects you to the divine. Let's be in the spirit of prayer and we'll, we'll, we'll start with the opening hymns. Our first reading this morning is Psalm 121. If you will turn in your hymnal to page 844 for the Psalter, and we will be using response number three. Lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come? My help comes, comes from, from the Lord. Who made and earth. The Lord will not let your foot be moved. The Lord who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, the one who keeps Israel will never slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your chair on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day. Nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil and will keep your life. The Lord will keep you going out and coming in from this time forth and forever. Righteous live forever. The reward is with the Lord. 
Good morning, Redeemer. As you know, I'm not Pastor Haldor. And those are mighty big shoes to fill, but I'll do my best this morning. My reflection this morning is, where does my help come from? How many times have you heard that question? And what is the answer? Some must say, my help comes from my family. Others may say, my help comes from my friends. Still others may say, my help comes from my coworkers. You may have heard, my help comes from my minister, or my help comes from my, my church family. While all these are good sources for help, the one true source is from God. Think about that for a minute. Does that ring a bell? Well, it should. It has been said numerous times in the Bible, my help comes from the Lord. In fact, in Psalm 109, verse 26, it says, help me, O Lord my God. And if you go to Job, verse 22, verse, I mean, chapter 22, verse 117b through 118a, it says, and what can the Almighty do for us? And yet he filled their houses with good things. Many people ask for help from the wrong people. There is only one person they should ask help for, from, and that person is God. Say you are driving alone in unfamiliar surroundings, or you are walking by yourself, and you become lost. How do you find a way back? You might call on your phone, but how can that person help you if you yourself don't even know where you are? It happened to me one time in a metro park. I was by myself on an unfamiliar trail when I came to a crosswalk. I didn't know which way to go, so I called to God to help me. Upon listening to directions, I found my way back, all because I asked God for help. So whenever you need help, call upon God. He's waiting for you and will direct you. Do not fear, for fear will lead you deceitfully. Only faith in God will lead you to safety. And let the whole church say, Amen. Whoa. Okay, I'm good.
hoping not to provide too much of a distraction to those who are still in prayer. Our church is blessed to be supported by, by you. We support ourselves in our tithes and offerings, gifts, and our service. Since the pandemic, we've not been passing the plate for obvious reasons. There is a box, at least I hope and pray it is, in the back where you can, is this there? It's there in the back, I'm told, where you can uh, place an offering um, or place your tithe, as the case may be, um, in support of what we do here at Church of the Redeemer. Also, um, Joyce Roper, I think, told the pastor, and it's in the bulletin, that the mission committee has chosen university settlement um, to be our, the uh, receive our Lenten offering. And maybe there'll be a moment for Joyce to talk about that next week. Um, we're gonna do our offertory together Today, you see the hymns, and we'll just resume the service.
please join me in the prayer of dedication. Generous God, we give thanks for all the ways in which you have enriched our lives. Now, according to your example, we give our gifts so that our neighbors may be enriched also. Bless both gift and neighbor that your kingdom of enough for all is realized right here as soon as possible. Amen. Amen. Our second reading this morning is from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Now is the time for reflection. In what way has Jesus' life and death saved or redeemed you? What do these verses tell you about the nature of God? How does this make you feel? How do you give the young people in your life to the world? And as we are all children, think about God's sacrifice. How does that make you feel? Once again, necessarily interrupting your prayer I'm interrupting my own. <laughs> um, this is a good time, having heard that our help comes from God. Thank you, Don. Don is a certified lead speaker. Um, and having heard that God gave his son for us, let us now silently bring our concerns, our joys, our comments, our rants to God. If after we've had the prayer hymn and a time to reflect on our prayers, um, we're going to have a time where there will be a, a, a corporate prayer. And if you want what you are praying about to be mentioned in the corporate prayer, please write it on the piece of paper that you can put up your hand if you need a piece of paper. Uh, you can put it in there. And after a while of reflection and prayer, you may come, approach the altar, and light a candle around your prayer. We will have the prayer hymn now.
Take a deep breath. And out. And in. And out. Creator, Redeemer, Sustainer, all in all, who in your wisdom has seen fit to be our God. Lord God, we give you thanks that you have sent your Son so that we can have better lives. Lord God, we give you thanks that you are willing to hear what we have to say, that you know what is on our hearts. So Lord God, I just lift up everything that has been shared in this worship service today, which is a little different. All those stirrings of our hearts that we don't even dare to say out loud. Be with each and every one of us that's here, that's on the Zoom, in our extended family, and with our neighbors all around the world. Let our belief in you, our dependence on you, our boldness in you. Make this world a better place. And we are bold to pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, your anointed one, redeemer, and also in the name of the sustainer, amen. We're going to have the prayer hymn again, and then we'll have the Lord's Prayer, which will be sung.
Join me in the benediction. Loving God, our time here today is over. But even as we go our separate ways, we are grateful to be bound together by the infinite strands of your love. Thank you for being that presence to whom we can always look for strength and encouragement. Let us take that feeling of loving support out into our worlds with the confidence to follow the way of Jesus until we meet again. Amen.